Hey guys, Cajun Reseller here. I come back at you with another plush sourcing video, kind of. This is a Goodwill blue box. This box is 15 by 15 by 15. I have two to open. So these are both coming from North Charleston, South Carolina. Interesting way to phrase a city, but yeah, two Goodwill blue boxes. Uh, usually these are dropped Fridays at around 5 o'clock central time. Uh, I've picked, uh, I've got five, I'm going to open two here, and then uh, I like to space them out a little bit. I've had these for a long time now, so let's open this box up and see what kind of plush we get in it. This is box number one out of two. Let's see what we got in here. First up is this little, what looks like a caterpillar. This is from, what's the brand on this? Well, maybe no brand. Greenbrier International. I don't know. Caterpillars can sometimes do well. So that's the first item. Next up is this little bear. It looks like a... Nope, it is not a tie. Or T-Y. Playful Push. It's from 1996. I've actually... I got a bunny. A big bunny that I never actually took the time to clean yet but it was actually worth a decent amount that is that brand as well so maybe that brand uh maybe that'll sell pretty well this is a puppy dog with no tags so i'm just gonna have to describe it as brown dog <laughs> and try and sell it that way this little dolphin i think it's a dolphin at least does have a upc code so might be able to look it up but i doubt it'll be worth much this is another bear, it's a jointed, so who knows, maybe. <laughs> I don't know all this stuff either. This is a Mississippi bear, funny that this is in North Charleston, South Carolina, but it's a Mississippi bear, and I'm in Louisiana. There's apparently 50 of them, and it looks like it has to do with uh, United States coins. If y'all don't know, they made a coin for each different state. Each state has 50... Each state has a coin, and then they also did a national park for each state as well. So another uh, money grab <laughs> to try and make coin collectors pay a ton of money. Oh, looks like there's another one maybe? Ohio? Huh. Never sold these before, but it looks like I'm going to find out if any of these are worth anything. Because <laughs> there's two of them. I'm guessing there might be more. This, well, this is a lot of the box. <laughs> this bear, maybe? from 1987 so it's kind of old may have some value may not i've never sold it so i don't know but i will google lens it because google lens is usually a pretty good way to find out i think it might be a bear it could be a dog i don't know what else we got in here this little puppy dog and again i don't think i actually said this but i paid 25 dollars for this box so that's how much money I have invested into it. There's North Carolina. So it looks like somebody donated all of their uh, 50 coin, 50 uh, state coins plush. And I doubt I have all of them in here. But I got at least three so far. Another Paw Patrol. I've actually been collecting, getting a little collection of these to put together to sell in a lot. So this one will go with those. The other ones are kind of pirate themed. So I don't know if I might just do that one separately. I might do it with it. I haven't decided for sure. This is a bear, I think. It's a Hallmark bear. I've actually sold Hallmark stuff pretty well, so it looks like it used to make sound. There's a little box. Uh, Y'all can't tell that, obviously, but there's a little box in there. So I'm actually hopeful on that one because <laughs> Hallmark seems to be pretty good. This is a TY. I think it's Congo. <laughs> Nothing much there. This thing will be going to a garage sale. <laughs> Unless it's some special, yeah, I don't think, I don't think that's worth anything. This little cat, sold it before. I don't know if I consider this one new or not. Probably not going to sell it as new, but I've sold it before for decent money. As long as it's in, well, that probably means it's not new to us, it? Yeah. Well, we'll see. There's another giraffe. Seem to be getting giraffes a lot, too, in some of these boxes. Destination Nation, I guess that's because people like giraffes, but this one actually has something to help it, help its neck stand up. Usually they're just drooping over, but... This one actually has some little cardboard in there to help it stand up. This is a little dog. I don't think it's... Let's see, it's Xmas Kennel Territories. K 
kennel cuddles. Maybe. I don't know. First I thought it was uh, puppy dog pals, but nope. This is a bear. This is going to say, I guess, gun. Yeah, rodin. I like when they have the names because they're easier to look up. <laughs> but it's pretty big. Probably 14, 15 inches, somewhere in that range. Not bad, not bad. Another bear. I don't know if I'll be able to find... Uh... It's got a little bag and shoes. and What does shoes say? Hmm. I don't know on that one. <laughs> I can't really... Do this one-handed and find the tag. Oh, maybe I can. And it's the wrong side of the tag. <laughs> oh, the clothing has a tag. All right, I'll come back with that one if I can find anything on it. This is a big shark. Big purple shark, probably a carnival plush. Kind of feels like it. Let's see, though, if it has anything there. BJ Toy Company. Yeah, I think that would be a considered a carnival plush. We got another coins, Connecticut. A little elf. This little, what looks like an eggplant, I guess. And the last one for this box is this little guy. So it's wildlife artist. Let's get to the second box. Here is box number two. Like I said, these are both from North Charleston, South Carolina. So this one is similar. Came from the same location as the other one. Looks like we got some pretty big ones to start out, so that might not be a good sign. Oh, great. A monkey. <laughs> Probably not the best start. Oh, it's dandy, so maybe it has a shot. It has a UPC. I don't know. Sometimes those can be worth it. Sometimes they're not. This is a snake, it looks like. This thing is big and long. I don't see a tag on it anywhere. So I don't know on that one. I will look a little bit closer and see if I see a tag, but it's not looking promising. This is a big plush as well. Typically, I don't like the big plush because it means... Value uh, your per item cost goes down a, or goes up a lot whenever you have that. I like this little one, maybe a little chameleon or salamander. Looks like a Webkins almost. Does it have the W? Yep, there it is. Webkins. This guy might have a little bit of value to him. I don't know. Another Webkins, a little dinosaur. Another snake. I think this is a Webkins snake. And makes Webkins. So someone liked snakes. Obviously. Let's see. We got this little guy. Have you had fun today? Frankie's. Interesting. Fiesta brand. I don't know if Frankie's is a store in uh south carolina or not beats me if you know what frankie's is and i will look it up before i list it obviously but if you know what frankie's is let me know this is a lionfish i think webkins huh interesting i think that's what that is lionfish they're actually poisonous uh, that's what all those little things are for but i used to watch a side note i used to watch a basically boating channel where they go around on their little yacht in the ocean and they were they catch lionfish all the time they just use you know a little harpoon or whatever to catch it and then kill it and eat it but this is another webkins so like i said a bunch of webkins black bear webkins so i like webkins they're not they're not the greatest money makers for me but they do make some money this little guy looks like some kind of wolf i don't see a brand but it, it feels kind of vintage feels cool I don't know. I don't see anything on there, so that one will be a little bit harder to look up. This is a Hello Kitty. Tiny, or teeny, teeny ties. Teeny T-Y. 
another little bear does have a UPC right there. So can kind of look that one up. This is a cool Triceratops dinosaur. BJ Toy Company. Looks a little bit better made, so maybe it's not. Maybe those aren't carnival toys. Maybe BJ Toy Company's not carnival toys. But, I don't know. First, for a second, I thought, oh, maybe it's Land Before Time, but that's not what Sarah looked like on Land Before Time. If you know Land Before Time, then you know who Sarah is. If you don't, just ignore that. <laughs> this little bear has seen better days. Uh, this is Happy. This little puppy dog, soft toy. They are, she is, or he is really soft. Made in China. Not much else. So, not much information on that one. This is a little bear. Brand of. I don't really know, but it's a bear. Y'all saw this guy in here. Probably not worth much, but I just saved it until almost the end. Tony Stewart, Office Depot. I think it's Tony Stewart, at least. He wasn't the only one that, yeah, Tony Stewart. He wasn't the only one that drive the Office Depot, but he was the main one. So, I don't think it's going to have much value. Probably someone bought it at a track or something like that. No, no, my toy factory. It's probably just a carnival. <laughs> this is another little bear. Napa, or no, whatever that says. And last but not least is this little bald eagle Webkins by Gans or Gans by Webkins, whatever, however you want to phrase it. But that's it for that box as well. Looking back at the two boxes, I think I actually like the first box better. Just depending on if these Webkins, some some Webkins can be good, some aren't. But I think I will definitely make money back on the Webkins for that box. Uh, on the other box, I tried looking up the this guy. Gond Roden, fifteen two fifty six. I was able to find him on Worth Point, but I don't have Worth Point, so I wasn't able to actually look up the value. But I did see. I don't know. Like I typed him into eBay, and nothing came up. I just kept trying to search Robin instead of Roden. But if you have Worth Point and you want to check that for me, feel free to. <laughs> but uh, and then I found this little. This guy is actually a golfer. This is from going back to the first box. That's his golf bag. And that's his golf shoes. So it's a little bear dressed up as a golfer. I didn't find this exact one, but uh, somebody had the just the bag, uh, the green Hunter Green bag. That one's more of a blue, but Hunter Green bag listed for twenty. There weren't many solds on this one, so I'm not I'm not expecting it to sell fast. It'll probably be a longer sale item, but still, I think I'll make my money back on these boxes. The boxes are fun. Sometimes you hit home runs. Sometimes you get, uh, I mean, for 25 bucks, in general, you get 20 to, you know, around 20 plush, I would say. This one, the second box got less because of the big ones that were in there. But uh, first box got a decent amount. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching and always supporting, liking, and commenting the videos. If you're not subscribed, you should subscribe. Uh, if you like Blue Box unboxings, let me know. I can try to do a couple more. Uh, like I said, it's me looking at the same plush you're looking at for the first time and assessing what I think they are. In the past, I'll, I'll try to link my other blue box that I've done before. I've only done one other one, but I got a lot more characters to actually recognize. This one was more Hallmark and random stuff. I, I mean, I kind of recognize these. I never sold them before, but it actually, looking at it, it does actually have the state number on there, what state they were. So if you need some education, 17th state was Ohio. The fifth state was Connecticut. The 20th state was Mississippi, and North Carolina was the 12th state. <laughs> so if you can remember that, yeah, I'm not going to. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like down below, or leave a comment down below. See y'all later.